In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use parameters within Azure Data Factory's mapping data flow feature. I'm going to use parameters inside of my data flow by passing in values from a pipeline parameter into my data flow execution. So what I'm going to do for this very simple demo is show you how to do that as well as how to delete records from a database dynamically. So the, the data flow I'm going to use is what you see right here on my screen. And actually, I have a source, a sync, and an alt row is all I need to be able to do this. Let me actually, I don't like the name on my source transform. So I'm going to change this right here. I'm going to say this is going to be um, my source SQL database. Now, what I'm using here is a data set that points to an Azure SQL database that has the movies database in it. So that is right here on my, I'm going to move this down so you can see it on the recording. This is right here on my um, Azure SQL database here on my SSMS. You can see this. Let me do a select star from, this is called Movie Stage. <clears throat> and let's order by title so we can see the titles of the movies. And what we're going to do is we're going to just delete these things dynamically, some of these uh, rows, some of these records from the table using parameters. So I'll just come down here. We'll just randomly pick a few uh, movies. I'll just take care of the A's, and this will be good. So let's go back to our data flow. So I have my source. Uh, there isn't really anything else you have to really consider here. When you want to do something like update a database, in this case, I'm deleting records from a database, the source and the sync can be the exact same thing. So my sync is pointing to the exact same data set which of course points to the exact same database. And all I'm saying on the settings is to delete only. All I want to do is delete, nothing else. And you have to have a key set for your deletes. Delete and update will require a key. So the key is movie, which is the ID column within the table. So you can see right here, it's the ID for each, each row, each movie. And I'm going to delete. I'm not going to insert or do anything else, just delete. And that's all you need to worry about. Just allow mapping to be auto and everything else. Now, the key to making um, updates against your database work within um, ADF Map and Dataflow is to use an alter row transformation. So the alter row has a series of different rules that you set for the different types of operations that you will take on your data, such as insert, update, delete, uh, delete or upsert. I'm just going to do a delete. So I'm going to say delete if the um, title of the row that you find in the data set contains the movie name that I've sent in through my parameters. So dollar and then parameter name is the syntax for parameters. And the only parameter I have here is called movie name. I said movie name as a string. I did that by clicking new parameter. And then you type the name here and you set the data type here. Okay, so we want this to be a string. So I call it movie name. So anytime it uh, the title of the record from the incoming data matches the parameter that I've set, the incoming value, it will delete that row. So in other words, that row condition for delete will be true. And then you delete it, and that's all the data flow does. Now to pass in the values dynamically into the movie name parameter, you have to then set a value from the pipeline execution. Now, there is a default value, so you can set a default value here. I'm not going to use that default value, though. I was just testing with that, so let's take that out. But you can set a default value for your parameter. Now, back on the pipeline, I'm calling it uh, DynaDelete. And all it has is a single data flow within this pipeline. I have set a pipeline parameter, and my pipeline parameter is called delete this movie as a string with no default value. So what's going to happen then is every time I execute this uh, from a debug, um, execution of this pipeline is going to ask me for a parameter value to send in. And what you do then is on the data flow activity, you set under parameters, you set that parameter. So there's movie name coming from my data flow, and I have set it to a pipeline expression, which is simply my pipeline parameter, delete this movie. So now that string will get sent into my data flow, and we'll delete that record. So let's see this in action. So you can go ahead and click debug, and then the pane will come in to set that value. So let's uh, okay, let's go back to my list of uh, of rows of names of movies. Let's remove. Let's get rid of Along Came Polly. I don't know why, but I just feel like getting rid of it. So let's go ahead and delete that. So we'll go back to here, and I'll type in Along Came Polly. And I'll click Finish, and that will execute that uh, pipeline with that value from the pipeline parameter of Long King Poly, and we'll send it into my data flow. So this will take about a minute to run. This will um, 
Uh, this will bundle up the script from the data flow, um, and that will send it over to my Spark cluster, and uh, that will then come back with a result. And that'll take about a minute. So I'm going to save some time. I'm going to pause while it's doing that. All right, and indeed, exactly one minute later, here we are. The uh, job uh, succeeded. The pipeline ran. The data flow ran. Let's go ahead and look at our database, and we'll change the query to um, where title is equal to along came Polly, and we will see that there are no longer any rows called that in the database. And that's how you use parameterization in Azure Data Factory with data flows and pipelines.